Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if when you're attempting to open up a Windows features on your computer and you notice that it is blank or it appears to just be endlessly loading the options and doesn't actually show you anything. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving that and we're going to go and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. So just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in services. Best match to go back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to locate the Windows module installer service. So just scroll down a little bit. And you want to go ahead and double click on that. Set startup type to automatic. And then if service status is stopped, you want to select the start option. Select apply and OK and see if that has now resolved your problem. So if you attempt to open up the Windows features again, hopefully then it should be able to load successfully. So if you are still experiencing a problem, another thing you can try to close it here would be to open up the start menu again, type in CMD, that's match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of the video. The first one's going to be an SFC space forward slash scan now. So I'm just going to paste it into the command prompt here. So just right click on the top bar of the command prompt, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter. This will take some time to run. And you can also try running a DISM scan as well, which I will also include in the description of the video. So fairly straightforward process here guys. Just would follow along with the on-screen prompts. Just generally speaking, once you're done running a scan, I would suggest restarting your computer and then attempt to run the other scan and then hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.